our party from the bottom up all over this state. And what an amazing dinner. Roberta and I were standing up here after Senator Reed introduced us, and she just looked out at all of you with the excitement and the energy that you are projecting, and she said, you tell those folks in New Hampshire and Iowa, we got something going right here in Nevada. just this year, but over so many years, and I promise you this, I promise you, you will always have a friend in the White House if I am your president. are, and I quote him, 
a drain on society. You have an attorney general who seems to have made it his mission to tear apart hardworking immigrant families. And in Washington, as Harry knows so well, Republicans keep trying to give more tax breaks to the super wealthy, take away health care from 18 million Americans, and today, for the first time, they succeeded in passing a bill to repeal the Affordable Care Act and to defund Planned Parenthood. Well, I'll tell you what, it's a good thing that we've got Barack Obama in the White House. country strong, tackling the problems that families talk to me about, the stresses that keep them up at night, caring for a loved one struggling with Alzheimer's or autism or addiction. And here's what I believe, and here's what evidence tells us. When families are strong, America is strong. And America grows when your paycheck grows. Taxes. 
defeat their right wing top down agenda. Similar situations. 
Well, the truth is, I think there's a lot more we can do if we do it together. We can invest in treatment, not more jails. Better training for prescribers. Easier access to anti-overdose drugs and efforts that will help people with addictions end up in recovery, not prison. But not long ago, I saw a great example of what we can do. Sheila Leslie suggested I go to a community program in Reno called Crossroads. It's run by the Sheriff's Office and Catholic Charities. They were tired of seeing the same people in and out of jail, in and out of the emergency room, with no hope of breaking the cycle of addiction. So they said, let's try something different and build a safe place for people to spend the night with counseling and support and some tough love. Since 2011, Crossroads has saved county taxpayers an estimated $20 million. By keeping hundreds of people out of the hospital and out of prison. You know, I love this. I love it as a model. It's really America, isn't it? When we come together to solve problems, a sheriff and a priest sit down together and say, our people are hurting. Let's try something different. We Americans may differ and bicker and stumble and fall, but we're at our best when we pick each other up, when we respect our differences and each other. Now, I know it's unusual for a candidate running for president to say we need more love and kindness in our country, but I think we do. And we all have to do our part. or a coal miner in Kentucky or an unemployed young man in Chicago, I want you to feel like you have a stake in our country's future and that our country has a stake in your future too. We can't forget that. No one should be left out or left behind. We are all part of this great experiment we call America, no matter where you're from or what you look like or who you love. I'm the granddaughter of an immigrant factory worker and the grandmother of the most wonderful little girl in the world. <laughs> Bill and I will do everything we can to ensure she has the opportunity to succeed. But I don't believe you should have to be the grandchild of a former president to share in the promise of America. The grandchildren of truck drivers and teachers, firefighters and housekeepers should have that chance too. And in the end, that's really what's at stake in this election. What kind of country are we going to be? Are we going to be defined by fear and resentment or by what President Lincoln called the better angels of our nation? As president, I will be your first line of defense against the dangers we face. I will always have your back, but I can't do it without you. I need you, and you have a real responsibility because you are the first line of defense. When you caucus on February 20th, it's up to you to choose the right person to stand up to the Republicans, protect everything we've achieved.